why doesn't she have kids? He must not want to be with her. Why aren't you? Like, it was this constant kids, kids, kids. Your final failure, and I want to give it enough space because I'm so glad you're going to talk about it. Mm -hmm. And we were chatting before, and I also have experience of this, and I can't wait to get into it with you, is your failure to have kids. Mm. And then you put in brackets, yet, despite (laughs) family and societal pressure. Mm. So tell me about that. Are you someone who has always wanted kids? I was. I come from a massive family because it's not just me and my five siblings it is my cousins and their five siblings and my aunts and uncles and their eight siblings and like you know it's it's a lot and kids is or children is very much a reason to be in Somali culture for women particularly right it is like what are you doing if you haven't had children now, there's actually a particular word for a woman who's older in life, who doesn't have children or is isn't that? married. Yeah. What and is it, it? It translates to owl. It's called gumes. Oh, I love that. It's quite interesting, but I don't think they mean it in a... Okay. I took it as like <laughs> wise owl. I was like, I'll claim that. <laughs> yeah. It's, it tends to be quite maybe not so okay. nice when it's used. But I, I mean, when we'd gotten married, I was already too old to be getting married (laughs) you know like my family had waited a long enough um and then when I'd made decision to you know wait a bit I I'd instantly become a stepmom you know when we'd gotten serious to three children so he just has his you know his two-year-old at the time he had a 14 year old and he had a 24 year old who's an adopted Mm -hmm. um child as well and I was like, this is a lot. <laughs> yes. I'm not just going to now add to this equation. Hold on a second. I wanted to explore that. I wanted to feel what it, what it was like. And I'm so thankful. They are the best children. I feel so, so close to them. Like, I mean, Mina San, who's 22 now, like, I feel like she's one of my little best friends. <laughs> you know, and she's so cool and so inspiring. And I love watching her grow and develop. And um, I felt like, okay, I have a duty here and I have a responsibility now as a stepmom. And, you know, it's a bit of a thankless job, right? Yes. <laughs> and you know. Yeah. Um, but I wanted to to do right by it. I wasn't then going to then go, okay, I'm ready to have kids. So for my family, that was a really hard pill to swallow. And actually, I think also for some people in this world, because I was getting all those comments like, why doesn't she have kids? He must not want to be with her. Why aren't you? Like, it was this constant kids, 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 questioning of. It almost made me pull away from it a bit more. Mm. I also have endometriosis quite seriously. And for me, like, that's like a serious thing. Like, I'd want to to plan it and go through mm. it because, you know, it's kind of scary territory hearing what friends in similar positions have gone through. And yeah, my family just didn't quite get it. I started to genuinely feel like I'd failed them potentially failed Idris, uh, failed myself. I mean, we'd have conversations, but I was so waffly on the subject and then guilty because I know and have friends who can't have children and want to have children. And it was almost like, well, just the fact that I can mean that I should. Mm. And it was this really weird space to be in that I'm still in potentially. I do want children. I know I want children. I want it to be on my own time. Yes. And when I'm ready to have children, not because my family pressures me to, not because society pressures me to, not even because, you know, relationship wise, I might feel pressured to. I think it really needs to come at a time where you're both ready. And it's an important conversation. So to call it a failure is just to, you know, have this look sort of inwards on why do I feel so badly about it? And I don't think I should. Thanks for tuning in. And if you found this video enjoyable, be sure to check out the full episode on your preferred podcast platform. And make sure you're following How to Fail on social media for additional content and updates.